Hey, Hackintosher, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to dive into a fantastic tool that's revolutionizing the Hackintosh scene, Opcore Simplify. If you're looking to create a Mac OS installation on your custom-built PC or laptop, but the process seems overwhelming, Opcore Simplify is here to save the day. So, what is Opcore Simplify? Opcore Simplify is a powerful tool designed to streamline the creation of OpenCore EFI configurations. Whether you're a seasoned Hackintosh enthusiast or just starting out, this tool simplifies the process significantly. You can download this tool on LZ Hoang 2801's GitHub page. Download the file from that page. I will demonstrate this on my Dell Optiplex 3080 Micro with Windows 11. You will run Opcore Simplify on the computer where you plan to install Mac OS. In my case, this Optiplex. Unzip the file, then double click and run the opcore simplify.bat file. You'll see a command prompt window. It will check if Python is installed. If not, it will ask you to install it. Press Y and enter to proceed with the installation. By the way, your computer needs to be connected to the internet. It will proceed to check if there is an update and go through with process to update. Press enter to continue. Here is the main menu of Opcore. Let's generate a report by pressing 1 on your keyboard, then enter. It will download the hardware snipper tool. From here, press E, then enter on your keyboard to generate the report. Please wait a moment while it checks your computer's compatibility. Here, you'll see if your computer is compatible with Mac OS. The key components to check are your processor, GPU, and storage. If your Wi-Fi card isn't compatible, you can easily replace it or use a Wi-Fi dongle. If your GPU or CPU is unsupported, Opcore will indicate that it's incompatible with Mac OS. In this case, you won't be able to proceed to the next steps and generate the EFI. Press Enter to continue. Press 2, then Enter for us to select a Mac OS version. I will install Sequoia on this Optiplex. Since the processor and GPU are supported on Sequoia, press 24, then enter. Now the option 3. 4 5 are automatically pre-configured. For the most part, you will no longer need to edit them, but if you want to customize it, you are free to do so. Let's go to the ACPI section by pressing 3 and enter. The settings here are already pre-configured. LP Core is automatically selecting the best patches for your computer to ensure optimal macOS compatibility. You are free to enable whichever patch you like. We'll leave them as is. Now let's go back to the main menu. Let's go into the option number 4 to customize the text. On this page, the drivers are neatly categorized, and on the right you can see a little descriptions too. Enable them if you are knowledgeable with it, for this can break or make your configuration. Type the number you want to enable, then press enter. On my case, I will leave them by default. The green highlighted text are indicator that those are enabled. Press B, then enter to go back to the main menu. Let's go into the SM BIOS section by pressing 5, then enter. Again, the settings here are already pre configured. Opcore is matching your computer specs to the closest Apple hardware. Since these settings are optimized, let's keep them as they are and go back to the main menu. Now, let's complete the process by selecting option 6, Build OpenCore EFI. This will initiate the final step, where the tool will download the latest bootloader, KXT, and other essential configuration files necessary for your Hackintosh. While you wait for the process to finish, grab a cup of coffee and relax. The tool will let you know when it's complete. Once the process is complete, you'll find the finished EFI folder in the Results subfolder within the Opcore Simplify folder. You can now close the command prompt window. Using this method, I was impressed by how fast and smooth the EFI creation was. I've successfully used it on both an Optiplex and a NEC Versa Pro laptop. Now that you have a compatible machine and the EFI generated, so what's next? You will need to configure your USB ports on Mac OS. I will provide the link for this guide on the description box. Then after finishing the USB port mapping, if you want to wipe your computer and install Mac OS, you can follow this guide. In case you don't want to wipe your current Windows OS, but dual boot instead together with Mac OS, then you can follow this guide. 
And if you want to add Linux into your computer, then you can follow this guide to have a triple OS on your computer. And lastly, if you want to boot into different Mac OS versions, then you can follow this guide. I also included some links for any fixes on your peripherals if you encounter them up. All of the guides will be linked on the description box. If you found these videos helpful, feel free to buy me a coffee to show your appreciation. You can scan this QR code or go into the Kofi link on the description box. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.